Tesla's vice president of global products and manufacturing, Tom Zhu, com commented on stage about Tesla's position as a company with a large footprint in both countries. Yahoo Finance's senior autos reporter, Praz Subramanian, is here with us and talks to us about what he had to say, Praz. Yeah, you know, there was some concern about Tesla's exposure to China, they're really leveraged them. One of the biggest part of the growth story is, is China. And that uh, came up as a concern in the Q&A session in Tom Zhu, uh, you know, potentially the heir apparent to Elon Musk there at Tesla, reportedly, uh, they say, uh, said that, you know, it's not a concern for us in China. We're hugely popular there. We sell a lot of cars are very much in demand there. So that's not a problem. And secondly, you know, from a geopolitical concern, Tesla hires a lot of workers. Their suppliers hire a lot of workers. So they're a very important part of the Chinese economy there. And he doesn't think that political pressures will come down on them in some, in some way to kind of force them to, their hand in certain issues because they're so important to the economy. But, you know, I do note that the uh, China um, South Morning Post uh, was critical of Elon Musk's tweet about the coronavirus and its, and its origins. So there are some lingering issues with Musk and his propensity to tweet and, and to Chinese uh, very much want people to toe the line their company line. So um, there is some friction there, but I think Tom's is saying, hey, it's okay, we're, we're, we're a big presence here, we're gonna keep building here, it's not a problem. Uh, one other notable point also is the fact that there were many executives that were sort of paraded out. This is a little bit different from in the past. I mean, this was more than in the past. Yeah, you know, you saw the usual suspects like Drew Biglino, who's the head of powertrains, and, and Franz, uh, Franz von Holhausen, who's the head designer. He usually comes up there with Musk. But you just saw that, that when Brad was speaking, we just saw that huge uh, panel of, of executives there. Uh, you don't actually see that in any auto event. And I think that was uh, maybe not just a, a, a practical thing, because this is a huge presentation. You need multiple executives to go through things like charging and AI and software and things like that. But this shows you the deep bench that Tesla does have. And maybe that's a signal to investors, like, and as you were talking about earlier, like, hey, Tesla's not just Elon Musk. It's, it is a, and a number of very smart people know, who know how to build cars and know how to, how to write software. And, and they are a company to be dealt with. So I think that's sort of a, a positive sign, but like not necessarily overt, just showing you, hey, here's, what, here's who we are. It comes on that backdrop of that criticism that, oh, is Elon Musk paying too much attention to Twitter? Yep, exactly. Thanks so much, Praz.